Builder! This is a V90 128GB SD card made by Silicon Power. It's approximately $50. What? Yes, it is fast enough for you to film an all eye on your Sony A7S III, which is approximately 600 megabits per second worth of data. For you GH5 users out there, yep, it also works with the 400 megabits per second all eye mode as well. Do I recommend it? You bet I do. The next closest competitor for this type of card costs approximately 120 some dollars. Done, roll that intro. What's going on everybody? You're watching Too Long Didn't Read Filmmaker, where the answers comes first, the reasons come last, but we're constantly and always still learning. So today we're gonna find out whether or not this V90 128 gigabyte card made by Silicon Power is gonna be the right solution for you and your overall filmmaking kit. And I actually want to thank Nate from Nate's Film Tutorial, uh, because he actually got this card, told me about it. I'll link his review right up here. And basically, here's the bottom line. It's 50 some dollars for a 128 gigabyte V90 card. And yes, you can shoot in the all eye modes, whether you are using a Sony a7S III or for my GH5 users, if you're gonna wanna shoot in the 400 megabits all eye mode. So here are the tests that I did real quick for the Sony. I was shooting an all eye 60p, which is the highest it can go. The data rate is 600 megabits per second. And this card had no problem sustaining the write speed as it filled up the card. And same thing with the GH5. The all eye 30p is approximately 400 megabits per second. And this card had no problem recording all the way through, no hiccups. Now for the Sony, if you're gonna be doing S and Q mode, there are a couple frame rates and settings that will work with this card. However, if you're trying to get the maximum amount, you're still going to have to go with the Sony Compact Flash Type A. So what's the bottom line here? Is the Silicon Power V90 128GB card something you should be thinking about for your overall filmmaking kit? And do I recommend it? It's an absolute yes from me, because here's the thing. If you've been looking at V90 cards, 128 gigabytes, the next cheapest card is approximately $120, and it only goes up from there. I have no idea how Silicon Power is offering a V90 and high write speeds for 50 some dollars. That's just insane. So if you've been thinking about wanting to shoot in all eye, because you want each frame compressed individually and you don't want it to have to do this calculation to lower the file size and you want the best quality possible, then yes, look no further than the silicon power. And hey, that is it for this week, everybody. If this video has made all the influence in your purchasing decisions, I would truly appreciate it if you check out my Amazon affiliate links down below. Again, this costs nothing extra to you. If you do purchase something, I might get a little commission from it and that helps support the channel. So. Without further ado, guys, if you have any questions or comments or anything at all, go ahead and leave it down below. I will get to them as fast as I can. And until then, like, subscribe, and share, and I'll see you guys in the next one.